Hello friends, welcome to my channel Creative Art. My name is Nilima and today we are going to paint this a beautiful glass painting of this girl. The previous painting we made was very usual, the girl which had orange and yellow shade hairs and uh, as you have observed in previous videos there are two to three paintings with the same color combination hairs that is why in this video we have created something new in which we have given the hair colors as a rainbow hairs and we can also call this girl as rainbow girl <laughs> you can call any name you want to all the materials required to make this beautiful glass painting are mentioned in the description box below as well as shown in the video. You can copy this image from the link provided in the description that is www.creativeathome.com So enjoy painting friends. Let's start our glass painting friends. First of all we have taken a black and white as well as a color photocopy of a glass painting and now we are going to place a transparent glass sheet on our black and white photocopy you can also call it as OHB sheet using thread tape we'll be securing the four corners as you can see here all the four corners are secured now now we'll be cutting the face part as it is really difficult to paint on glass directly using acrylics that is why we'll paint this face part on a paper and then we'll cut out the same size of the face and then we'll be pasting it on the glass accurately as you can see in this black and white photocopy so this time i'm not painting the face part i am just cutting it out using my scissor So using Fevercol glue here, I'll be surrounding the whole face part. You can also use Fevistick if you want. We'll stick it. We'll let it dry now. Here we have let the cut it part dry for at least 5 minutes. Now I'll start lining our glass painting using 262 metallic silver glass liner. You can also use 261 metallic gold glass liner. I'm starting it from a side. See friends for this type of paintings you can either first line up the whole painting and then color or else you can color the painting first and then create the linings you can do any of these whatever you like as this is a reverse painting friends so i'll come i'll just line up only few basic lines and after that we'll start coloring okay and i'll show you the lining how does it looks here friends you can see that I have partially made linings to the leaves or you can call them feathers because this time we are going to do something new. I have already shown you the painting how does it looks by the color printout but this time I will be doing it somehow differently okay. So consider it a second painting which you haven't seen yet. I will show you in the So here I have removed all the four corners and I have placed it on a plain horizontal surface. So the face part, okay, here you can see it is placed in a very plain horizontal surface and now I am thinking about to color the hairs as uh, in rainbow colors and these leaves to consider them as white coloring or silver coloring feathers. So we'll be starting coloring the hair in different variety of colors. Maximum I'll use more 7 colors to give it a very good rainbow effect hair. So let's start. First of all I'll make few dark colors in starting. I'll use red as I always love it. Okay, now I'm taking orange. Mixing the orange with red. Okay, now I'm using yellow. 
try to mix the orange with yellow by making this kind of circular motions. Now I'll take a pretty color that is sky blue, you may guess, yellow. I know it's very difficult to imagine this color combinations, but this will make a very beautiful look, believe me. Trying to mix the blue with yellow, okay, make the circular motions and mix the yellow and blue combination will give you the green color and let it look that it's producing the combination that is blue and green. So now we'll be using umber and we'll also try to combine this umber blue with blue. This is a very difficult one because umber blue is very dark and light blue is very light. So you have to first of all take your umber blue color then you have to again use your blue color sky blue color so now using sky blue i'll give the summer blue a very light tone you have to just make circular motions and keep on mixing the color and the new color will appear automatically. And now we'll be doing a very great combination of blue and purple. I'll actually use a pink to make this combination beautiful. Because you know the combination of pink and sky blue gives you the new color that is purple. And here again I'll use tomato red to mix up with this pink. I'll start this part again using tomato red. Now again I'll combine it with pink. And here I'll be mixing part of pink with purple. So now in this part we'll again take some red. I'll mix this red, yellow and orange. This yellow again here. So now we'll be combining this pink with the red. We'll use a line of tomato red here. Combine the red and pink, make the colors clearly visible, remove the bubbles. Okay, so now the pink is very clear over here. So we'll start mixing purple and this pink.
और ये सांभर लिया So you're coloring the colorful part is complete now. Now using white, we'll simply fill up the feathers. So friends, here is our coloring room part completed now. So we'll let it dry. So friends, here you can see how beautiful our glass painting has come up. I have completed the whole lining part using the same glass liner and again let it dry for about 12 hours, 10 to 12 hours and we have made this time the white silver coloring feathers and you can see the final look to get a more beautiful look do frame it using aluminium foil and if you did like this video friends please do like and subscribe my channel thank you for watching